Sometimes the subtle meanings in some words and the body languages of certain individuals can speak magnitudes. Today our subject is all about the mysteries of anime and how intriguing they can get. That is why for today we will be talking about the top 10 mystery anime that will keep you on the edge of your seat. So before we begin, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press that bell icon so as all to be notified about all our latest new videos. And of course, beware of the following spoilers. Coming in at number 10 is B, The Beginning. If you live for thrill and mystery, then this show is definitely what you're looking for. On the islands of Cremona, a vigilante is out wreaking havoc. However, it isn't just any random havoc. It's somehow systematic and has a pattern to it, as if this masked unknown vigilante is also looking for someone or something. Celebrated by some and hunted by others, the notorious killer B takes justice into his own hands. Armed with a sharp blade and superhuman abilities, unable to apprehend this renegade, the Royal Investigation Service, or the RIS, calls upon the expertise of Keith Flick, the once-renowned cop that solved impossible cases as dubbed by some. The game is set, and the cat and mouse game commences. Just who will come out victorious? This killer bee is all about being mysterious. What are his motives? His reasons for killing these people? Just what is he after? And just what does B stand for? All these questions will be answered throughout the episodes, one question at a time. Coming at number 9 is a Jin, Demi-Human. Typical humans. The first reaction they have to someone that doesn't conform to their definition of normal is just always so damn hostile all the time. Ever since the discovery of supernatural beings that can't seem to die, humanity went on a high alert on the lookout for those beings now called a djinn. Why are they all so hard to identify? Simple really. A djinn can be anyone around you. Hell, even you could be an a djinn without even knowing it. The tricky thing about these a djinn is that they can't be easily identified. The only means of identifying them is if someone went through a deadly situation and didn't die because of it. So you can already imagine how tedious and annoying finding these Ajin are, unless you are actually going around massacring people in order to discover who is and who isn't an Ajin through trial and error, you can kiss your chances of ever finding or encountering one goodbye. And so much for truck kun isekaiing someone in the show, the main character K is hit by that truck and instead of going to a land where he built his own harem, he discovers the dark truth of him being an Ajin all along. Where do these beings come from? Are they even considered human? Can a djinn be trusted? How many are there? These are probably the questions that will be going on in your head going forward watching this anime. Coming at number 8 is Denpa Teki na Kanojo. This is the go-to anime when you are looking for a cool, fun, short thriller to watch in one sitting that actually makes sense and is enjoyable. Honestly, this anime did the impossible by cramming the light novels of the series into two OVA episodes, and did so with finesse and accuracy, I might add. Yet even after all that, the product was still able to compete with other shows and anime series in the same genre with only two OVA episodes to its name. The story seems straightforward at best, a delinquent guy, aka the main character is the king in his past life, and Ame, the delusional girl if you wish, is his loyal retainer from her past life. She now sticks to him like gum and won't leave his side no matter what happens. Even though Ju was annoyed at first by that behavior, he soon accepts her existence in his life, especially after a murder takes place and one of the students in his class is killed. With the killer on the loose and everyone in danger, it's up to these two to find him and subdue him. Oh, and uh, just a small remark for those who are gonna watch it. The murder part is nothing but the tip of the iceberg. Coming at number 7 is Shadow House. Nothing spells the word mystery than the color black, and no better way to make it mysterious than how they utilize this enigmatic color in this anime. You see, in this series, toddlers are infected by a strange disease that causes them to be covered all in black, from head to toe, losing all their features in the process. To counter this, the rich families create dolls for these poor, unfortunate souls that look like how they should have looked if they weren't under these conditions. A doll's job is simple and quite straightforward. All they have to do is get 
to learn the habits, likes and dislikes of their darker selves, and the occasional time to time soot cleaning. However, if things were this straightforward, then this anime wouldn't be on this list now, would it? Well, I guess the only way to know for sure is by watching it. Coming in at number 6 is Mawaru Penguindra. Welcome to the award winning of the most confusing anime to ever graced existence. This anime might seem at first to be about some magical girl that has a magical penguin hat, but oh boy was I wrong. The rabbit hole in this anime runs even deeper than anyone can ever imagine. It is such a mysterious and complicated anime that the true story is hidden inside the crevices of its cuteness and is only just ever so subtly explained or hinted in any way whatsoever. The penguin drum is said to be an item that will grant the sickly dying girl the life and cure from her disease that she deserves. And with her brothers being the good siblings that they are, they will tear the world high and low in order to find it and save her life. At least, that's what we were led to think about. All I am going to say is that this anime is definitely worth the watch and honestly not knowing that this anime exists should be categorized as a crime by itself. Catch me if you can, Mr. Holmes. Coming in at number 5 is Moriarty the Patriot. For those that grew up listening and reading about the adventures of the great detective of Scotland Yard, Sherlock Holmes, the name Moriarty is a familiar name that they all know and love. For those who don't know him, however, Professor James Moriarty is the sociopathic nemesis of Sherlock Holmes who is equivalent to him in every aspect except for one, cruelty. Professor Moriarty was the deadliest nemesis Sherlock Holmes ever had whom he grew to respect and fear his wit and intelligence. And with that intro out of the way, we come to this anime and how it retells the magnificent rivalry between those two. However, this time it tells the tale from the perspective of Professor Moriarty. This anime is is going to challenge your intellect and deduction skills all the way since the beginning. If you slip once, you will lose the connection, and the anime will just seem like nonsensical mumble jumbo. However, if you watch intently and patiently, you are bound to enjoy the show and solve some of the mysteries the show throws at you. Coming at number 4 is Summertime Rendering. Anime out there should really take a seat and watch the trailer of this anime and start taking notes on how to perfect a trailer. I mean seriously, this trailer was just mm, chef's kiss in all aspects. The trailer starts off directly jumping into the main issue revealing that a death in the family took place. Yet it also emphasizes that the accidental drowning had more to it than meets the eye on this remote region that is brimming with supernatural energy. The trailer gave us the exact amount of details and info we needed to get hooked to the anime while not revealing all its cards early on, leaving something for us to look up for as we watch the show. And let me tell you one thing, this anime just knows how to keep its audience on edge and on the lookout for what comes next. あの現象を俺はリバイバルと呼んでいる。損することは分かってるのに関わってしまう。だいたい1分から5分くらい前に戻って同じ光景を見る。Coming in number 3 is Erased. Remember those memes that took over the internet of how the guy did everything for the girl, even ended up in a coma for years, and she still didn't wait for him, got married, and visited him as he woke up with his kid? Yeah, this is the anime it's based off of. This scene. Man. I gotta tell you, it triggered me like hell, and the funny thing is, it did so without me even knowing the story or the plot of the anime. It was only when I checked out the plot, what the main character went through, and how much he suffered that I reached the table flipping phase. Those that watch the anime already know why I'm triggered rightfully, I might add. However, this anime remains as one of the greatest mystery anime that were produced in the last 10 years, with the whole anonymous kidnapper slash killer on the loose taking out people left and right, with only Satoshi and his revival of ability there to stop him. It was quite an interesting anime to say the least. However, the ending. In case I wasn't clear enough previously, oh, it triggers the hell out of you. Mm. <laughs> 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 
Coming in at number 2 is Bakano. The story is outstanding and excels in its non-linearity. The characters can be related to easily and have cool and fun personalities. Add to that some powers and immortal beings and you get Bakano. This anime isn't a masterpiece albeit, but it is still a very, very good show. Not to mention an enjoyable series to watch. It is short and you can easily binge it in one sitting. The anime, however, it failed to break even and as such was a short-lived masterpiece that we will never witness the ending of, sadly. The show might seem a lot for some in certain aspects due to the whole jumbled, non-linear timeline and the whole immortality thing that is going on in the show. However, what better mix of attributes can you ask for when it comes to a mystery anime? And number one goes to The Promised Neverland. From the moment you check the show poster, you can immediately realize that something weird is going on here. The examples and red flags keep going on and on the further you go into the series. The more you know about what is going on in the show, The Promised Neverland is a horror and thriller story of food trying to run for their lives. Uh, sorry, I'm, I meant children. Apparently in this world, these orphanages are created for a much more sinister reason than you think. In this show, and as our dear Aaron Yeager explained years ago, Children are being raised as lambs for slaughter, and the children there are just all so oblivious to almost everything that is going on around them. Watch as they discover the harsh reality that they were thrown into, and how they manage to protect themselves from those who wish to harm them. Just a piece of advice, watch season 1 and just stop there. Don't go into season 2. Just don't ruin what could have been the most engaging and potential story ever for yourselves like I did. Watching season 2 was a mistake. So take it from someone that knows and just act as if season 2, well, frankly, never existed in the first place. And with this, we conclude our video. If you enjoyed this list, I want you to smash that thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed yet, be sure to subscribe and press that bell icon to keep yourself notified of all our latest new videos. Also, comment down below on the anime you like the most on this list and if you're planning to watch any of them anytime soon. Also, if you have any suggestions, place them in the comments as well. And as for now, I'll catch you later. See you in the next one.